Hi, this is Robin Sharma, the author of The Leader Who Had No Title, and I'm in this uh, very special island paradise uh, just off the coast of Africa. Uh, I've been on this tour, and I've come here to write, I've come here to think, I've come here to refuel, I've come here to share a video with you on how to wake up early. Um, you know, in all my books, whether it's The Leader Who Had No Title or my YouTube videos or uh, as I travel around the world talking to people at different events, people always love this idea of the 5 a.m. club. They always love this idea of winning the battle of the bed, uh, putting mind over mattress. And I guess, you know, we do live in a world of dramatic distraction. And there's something very special about five to six every single morning. Very creative people, many of them, whether it's Ernest Hemingway, some of the great states people, uh, many of the great writers, painters, they just love this holy hour from five o'clock to six o'clock every single day. And so I'm gonna dive right into it. I mean, this is a very high content video. There's some real hard hitting tactics that have um, helped hundreds of thousands of people that I've worked with or that have read my material uh, or um, heard me talk about this idea. And it's really helped them get some traction on integrating the 5 a.m. club into their lives. And that's my great wish for you because, you know, this is a complete game changer. Uh, you know, when I started my career, um, I, I was getting up at 5 o'clock, I still get up at 5 o'clock, but it was the thing that, one of the best things that I ever learned how to do. One of the best habits that allowed me to be really, really productive, and same with all the people that I've worked with, whether it's my coaching clients or other people as well. So let me get right into it. Why should you get up at 5 o'clock every single morning? Well, the first thing I want to say is, um, let's go to what the Spartan warriors taught us. And they said, he who sweats more in training bleeds less in war. And my point is you need five to six every morning while the rest of the world is asleep to train, to practice, to prepare. Prepare your mind, prepare your heart, prepare your character, prepare your spirit so that at six o'clock or whenever the time is you walk out into the world, you are not being reactive. You have actually taken control of your mindset and your heart set. You've reconnected with your values. You reconnected with your mission. And you walk out in the world and you are literally unstoppable. Um, second reason that I think you should get up or I encourage you to get up at 5 o'clock and join the 5 o'clock club is science has shown us that willpower is a lot like a muscle. And as you go through the day and flex that willpower muscle by making new choices and uh, achieving new little wins, your, your willpower muscle starts to deplete. So what I'm suggesting to you is when you first get up, your willpower is at the strongest. And by getting up at 5 o'clock, you can do the things I'm going to encourage you to do much more easily than you could later on in the day. Another reason why you should get up at 5 o'clock or why I invite you or encourage you to get up at 5 o'clock is the hour from 5 to 6 is just an extraordinary hour. And as a matter of fact, I believe 5 to 8 o'clock every single morning is prime time. I mean, you do have the most willpower, you do have the most mental focus, and you do have the most energy. And I know you might not believe me on energy, please just let me get to it. But 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock, if you use those prime time hours, call them the three golden hours, if you use them well, you will get more done in a day than most people get done in a month. You will get your fitness to world class. You will get your mindset to world class. You will really tap in to the well of elite performance that is, it, it's a gift for you if you know how to get to it. And then the final reason I would encourage you to get up at 5 o'clock and spend that one hour in training or practice or personal development, preparing yourself for an incredible day. Because as you know, your days are your life in miniature. As you live your days, so you live your life. So the final reason I would encourage you to do it is, you know, the rest of the world is asleep. And getting up at 5 o'clock gives you just an enormous psychological edge. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a primary win. You get up in the morning, you do win the battle of the bed, you get out and you start your day while the rest of the world is sleeping. It gives you this incredible mental confidence. It gives you an extraordinary point of differentiation from the mass of people in the world. You just feel brave. You feel strong. You don't feel like a, uh, like a, like a victim. You feel like a leader.
Okay, so let me get into some quick tips for you to apply to integrate the 5 a.m. club habit. And the first is really all about habits. According to the University College of London, they have found through their research it takes 66 days to install a new habit. Not 21 days, I know I've written about that, not 40 days, which some research confirms. The latest research that I've read says it takes 66 days of practice to hardwire in a new mental pathway known as a habit. In other words, 66 days of trying to get up early every single day, going through the difficulty and the discomfort of installing that new habit until it becomes part of your neural architecture. And what do most people do? They give up after two days. They give up when they first meet a little bit of discomfort. And please remember the key idea that I've shared with you before on previous videos on YouTube which is change is hard at the beginning, it's messy in the middle, and it's gorgeous at the end. And you just have to go through that messiness and the discomfort to hardwire in that new neural pathway of getting up at five o'clock until it becomes your new normal, until it becomes a mental highway, until literally, and here's a key idea, until literally you've practiced getting up at five o'clock in the morning so many times, 66 days, so that you literally cannot not get up at five o'clock in the morning. So first idea, 66 days practicing getting up at five o'clock in the morning. Secondly, if you really wanna get some traction and build this 5 a.m. habit, get up at the same time every single day. So that doesn't mean, you know, 5.05 one day, 5.15 another day, every single morning, or maybe if you're gonna do it five days a week, that's cool with me, whatever works best for you. Maybe it's five days a week, but set your alarm clock for five o'clock every single morning. So again, you build consistency and a ritual into your mornings, which brings me to the third tip I wanna share with you the 20-20-20 rule. So you literally want to build a morning ritual around the 5 a.m. club. First, this is so important. Please, please try it. The first 20 minutes, 5 to 5.20, on exercise. Exercise is a complete game changer. You know, please remember that the way you feel when you first wake up isn't necessarily the way you're gonna feel 20 minutes later, not even, even 10 minutes later. So when you get up at five o'clock, the first thing you want to do is you want to run on the spot or you want to invest five dollars in a skipping rope and skip or get to the gym or go for a swim or start running by having your running shoes right by the bed so you run out the door pretty quickly without any excuses. What I'm suggesting to you, first 20 minutes in exercise. Why? Because it'll release dopamine, the motivational neurotransmitter. So even if you don't feel like getting up out of bed, you will take control of your neurochemistry and you will feel strong. It will release serotonin, which makes you feel happy. I mean, you know, because you're exercising, you'll feel much happier. It'll shift your mood pretty much automatically. Why else should you exercise? You'll boost your metabolic rate. You'll have more energy, even if you don't feel like it. Then the second 20 minutes, remember the rule is, the morning ritual is the 20-20-20 rule. Second 20 minutes, this is 5.20 to 5.40, you review your plan, you review your daily schedule, you review your goals. That will give you focus, it'll give you inspiration, it will give you passion because the secret of passion is knowing your daily and yearly purpose and even your lifetime purpose. And then from 5.40 to 6 o'clock, this is the final 20 in the 20-20-20 rule, from 5 to 6 o'clock, you learn. Because as you know, education is inoculation against disruption. The world belongs to the learners. As you know more, you can achieve more. As you invest, uh, I'll put it to you this way, to double your income, triple your rate of learning. So that final 20, read eBooks, listen to audiobooks, watch TED Talks, watch inspirational videos or training videos. You know, pull out a hard copy of a book and study it and read it because as you know more, you can literally start to see around corners. Okay, the next execution tip is a great one, and like all good tips, it's a simple one. You want to plan rising at 5 o'clock on your daily schedule. If you've watched my other YouTube videos or you're on my list, you know I've taught you how to build a weekly schedule. But what you want to do is literally, let's say it's six days a week or five days a week, whatever it is. 
Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday, right on that five o'clock to six o'clock chunk of time on your written seven day schedule, five to six, my holy hour, five to six, 20, 20, 20, 20 minutes exercise, 20 minutes reviewing your game plan, 20 minutes of learning. Because here's why, when you write things down, you literally deepen your commitment. It just deepens it in your awareness. It gives you that discipline that we're all looking for. Writing is really very powerful to do that. Um, writing also creates precision of thought, which gives you more focus. And I guess what I'm suggesting to you with great respect as always is the things that get scheduled are the things that get done. I'm going to repeat that again because it's so important. The things that you schedule are the things that you get done. Because vague goals lead to vague results. But with a clear plan, 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., seven days a week, it's right in front of you, you look at it every morning, that will allow you to have greater self-discipline, greater commitment, greater focus around getting up at five o'clock. So what else on joining this, this eccentric five o'clock club that so many of us around the world have joined? Well, you ha absolutely have to get a great night's sleep. Um, you know, it, it's obvious, but if you're fatigued, if you're exhausted, it's gonna be very, very difficult to get up at 5 a.m. So a couple of um, ideas to get, to get a deeper night's sleep is first of all, remember that it's not the quantity of sleep, it's the quality of sleep. I would rather get five hours of really rich deep sleep than 10 hours where I'm getting up interrupted, can't really sleep, messing around. Um, and so to help you get a deeper sleep, remember not to use your computer in bed before you go to sleep. So many people in the world right now in this age of dramatic distraction, they're addicted to their computer, they're addicted to their Twitter feed, they're addicted to Facebook, they're addicted to their smartphone. Do not bring that into the bedroom. Uh, you know, I, I would suggest create uh, a bedroom where it's like a bubble of tight focus, a bedroom where it's stimulation free. Don't watch the news before you go to sleep. Don't even watch TV before you go to sleep in bed. I mean, people wonder why they can't get up and yet they're not doing the kinds of things that you need to do in order to get up early. And you've heard me say this before, but to get the results only 5% of the population has, you have to have the guts to do what only 5% of the population are willing to do. And one of those things is, before you go to sleep, prepare yourself for a rich sleep. No computer, no internet surfing, no TV, no checking your Twitter feed, no newspapers, maybe it's going to be a cup of chamomile tea, but you want to have a non-stimulation or a, a low stimulation environment to help you sleep better. Next idea, next execution tip, put your alarm clock away from the bed. This really works. If your alarm clock is right next to your bed, when you wake up at five o'clock, you're gonna hit the snooze button if you're like most people. You literally wanna put it on the other side of your bedroom or you wanna put it in another room. The very fact you get out of bed to turn off your alarm clock will help you get up at five o'clock because then you can say, you know what, I'm not gonna go back to bed. You do it for 66 days and again, getting up at five o'clock becomes your absolutely new normal. Like I said earlier in this video, you simply wanna to get to a place where it becomes hardwired in as a habit so that you cannot not get up at 5 a.m. And the final idea I'll offer to you in terms of an execution tactic is you literally want to jump out of bed as soon as you get up. And again, this works. Just develop a mindset where as soon as your alarm clock gets up, it's a ritual because you know what? Willpower doesn't really work. Rituals work. You look at the elite athletes, many of whom that I've worked with or they follow my material, these people are not exercising willpower to get their world-class results. They are creating rituals. And once you create a ritual, then you create the habit. And my habit or what my encouragement for you is when you get up at five o'clock, make it a ritual to jump out of bed. Then you might just want to do your affirmations, splash your face with some cold water, and then get into the 20-20-20 morning routine. So, you know, again, getting up at five o'clock, joining the 5 a.m. club, like so many of us are now doing around the world. If you follow me on Twitter, you follow me on Facebook, just look what people are doing when they get up at five o'clock. I mean, it is a complete game changer. And this is my great wish for you, because once you get up at 5 a.m., the rest of the world, relatively speaking, is asleep. And when you do the things that I've suggested, by six o'clock, you just have to experience this. You will feel so much focus, so much energy, so much motivation, so inspired. You'll get so much done by seven or eight o'clock that you won't know what to do with yourself. You will become super productive. You will transform your mindset and you will truly become an extreme achiever.